Hey everybody, Pastor Bill here, and this is Fixing Things. Looks like it's getting ready to rain, and I've been slacking. I've been slacking on getting stuff done around here. Uh, my father just passed away, and and last thing I worked on was my motorcycles, and it was a complete failure. I worked on the the my wife's Challenger, and I did, I did really didn't get it fixed. I Ended up there was three brakes that were actually grabbing. Uh, the one I actually fixed, I thought it was kept on dragging, but it was actually one of the front brakes was also dragging. My son put it while I was at cutting hair at the steampunk parlor. I was uh, my son came over here and put a new caliper on for me and bled it out. Bless his heart. My son, my son is a awesome. Does a lot of stuff for me. But what are we going to do today? This is my Cub Cadet lawnmower. And for the last two years, it's been working its heart out out here on the, on the property. And it has a lot of grass to cut. And the grass is starting to get tall. And something happened to it. It hit something out in the yard. I don't know, maybe a stick or something. Motor shut off and it didn't want to run no more. Uh, it just kind of spittered and sputtered and if it did start, it, it pinged and popped and didn't have no power. Uh, I been having trouble with the carburetor, uh, so I thought maybe it was running lean or something or rich and I messed with the carburetor and I should have did a video on that, but I was just just not feeling like doing anything. Just, just wanted to get the grass cut. So. Today, we're going to figure out what the heck is wrong with this thing. And uh, I do know that uh, I bought a bunch of parts just to check it out. Well, not just to check it out, to get it fixed. Because I'm pretty sure I already know what's wrong with it. Because my son, my son, came over at church the other day. And he got down and looked at it while I cranked it and the head gasket is leaking. So we're gonna go ahead and put a brand new carburetor on this thing, brand new, and a brand new head gasket. So keep watching if you wanna know how to do it. Because if there's anything I know how to fix, it's motors. Goodness gracious, I know I've been having my trouble with other stuff, but we're gonna fix this today. All right, let's get with it. Let's go on. All right, so I don't have much tools here to do this with. I got plenty of tools to do it with. And I did buy another toolbox, and I got one on order from Harbor Freight Orange, because that's going to be my new shop color. I got my, uh, my DeWalt impact driver set up to run uh, sockets on it. I got my small socket set. I got me several pliers. Got me a Klein's 11-in-1 glow-in-the-dark screwdriver. And I got my socket set. Got a brand new carburetor kit with a brand new carburetor. It even comes with a little filter, but we got a brand new filter already on it. Plus, I changed the hose around. And I got a brand new gasket set. I have not opened it yet. Let's, let's just do that. All right, so here's the gasket set. Comes with a brand new head gasket. Looks like it comes with brand new um, uh, head bolts. That means I'm probably gonna have to do some torquing. It's got a brand new valve cover gasket, a gasket for the intake, and I'm not sure, there may be an exhaust gasket in there also. There it is. It looks like it comes from China. So, okay. All right, first let's get this hood out of the way. So it's, 
It just sits in there, it doesn't do nothing. Just kind of lift it up, and it's got these things in it. Just you root strength. And All right, let's take the cover off. I'm missing the other one. I don't know what happened to it. Whoever worked on it before me. Take the oil thing off-ish. Make sure it's all the way unscrewed. Set that out of the way. Put your oil thing back on so nothing falls down in the Motra. Next thing we're going to take the, the carburetor thingy apart. So it's already got the bolt loose. Only thing left is the two screws uh, nuts that holds the carburetor on and all that comes off. So let's get that. those up here out of the way so we don't lose them. Now this comes off. Set all this out of the way so we don't lose it and knock it over. All right, so now the carburetor is actually loose and we can take it off. And we got to take it off anyways because it's bolted to the head or at least slides on the head. So we'll now I guess I gotta take the fuel line off. Ah. Just trip me up thing out of the way. Put my kneel it down device down on the ground. And before we can get the cylinder head off and the valve cover off, we need to get the muffler out of the way. So it takes a, a T40. And we'll see if the impact driver will take it off. Oh, just like butter. Put back on the same. I want to take the shield off the the muffle. Don't lose your screws. Don't put your knees on them. Now with this thing loose, you can take the two bolts off that holds the, the rest of the muffler on. And the gasket fell down there, just in case I ain't got another one. And now we're ready to take the, the valve cover off. Oh, please don't let it rain.
This had a bad oil leak right here and I fixed it. So that's how I know how it comes apart. Take the spark plug wire and move that out of the way. This, um, Probably see if we can get it in top dead center. Okay, that's exhaust stroke. The impact though has got enough strength to take it apart. I guess we'll put a ratchet on there. Mm. Mm. All right, <clears throat> that one's loose. You know what I need is my a longer handled one. Let me get it. All right, we'll go with a little beefier. That one was already loose. No. Nope. So the hot gases were shooting out here and down below. We'll get a better look at it here in a minute. We are on top dead center. And there's leaking right there, looks like. There's some gunk in the oil passage. And it looks like it was leaking oil right down through there too. Yeah, let me get let me get you over here so you can see. Okay, I haven't did nothing to it. And you can see this dark discoloration right here. And there's definitely got some gunk going here and this oil. So it was blow buying out of this whole bottom piece right here. Let's take the head gasket off, take a look at it. The back side. Like I said, it's the first time it's been off. Oil. And right here. Uh, if you can see that right there. the It was blow buying right into the oil oil uh, chamber. That's not, that's, this is the bolt, this is a bolt. That's oil. This is a pin that holds the, guides the head on straight. And it was blow by, it was going by right here too. So it was literally sucking the oil right out of the motor.
through the head gasket. And just make sure that the, the aluminum is not messed up. Looks okay. We're gonna have to do some scraping though. Let me get me a scraper set up. Let's take these push rods out. They look good. I want to keep them uh, in the right direction. You gotta put them somewhere. I guess I have to clean them off. All right, so we're going to use the same method we used on the General Lee, except this is aluminum and it's softer, so you, got to, you don't want to gouge it. So you're just going to be easy. You got to get all that carbon off. old gasket material. Cleaned up a little mineral spirits. All right, move the piss in in and out a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to use my top secret stuff. Permatex copper spray head gasket, high temp sealant. This stuff is miracle. let that set up. I'm going to spray a light tack on the, the head gasket also. Alright, do some editing there. Alright, I'm going to show you, uh, this is the original head gasket. And uh, head. this is a head bolt, head bolt, head bolt. And this is the passages for the um, push rods and that's the oil passage return and if you put this on here I want to show you something look at this right here look at this big gap that was there this original see that and I'm going to show you something there is literally nothing between the oil passage and the edge of the gasket. I mean literally nothing. It was just barely anything. So the new head gasket, there we go. 
the new head gasket goes right to the edge of the cylinder. Like I said, just I cleaned it up with the the razor a little bit. Get any high spots out of it. You can see where the gas was coming out there and the gas was going right into that oil, oil uh, passage. Little miracle spray. And you can use this on, on other gasket materials too. All right, we're gonna let that set up. We'll be back in a minute. Uh, someone just. All right, let's put this thing back together. I finally got some shade. This stuff is just tacky now. Kind of like me, tacky. Tacky and corny. Try not to let the head gasket fall off. Just going to put that bolt in for a second. Hold it all in place. So the maximum torque rating is only 30 foot-pounds. Clean these threads up. I'm going to put a little bit of lube on them. I always got to put some luby dooby on them. Oh, you don't have to do that, Pastor Bill. Yeah, well, you ain't me. And yes, you do got to lube them. Some people say you got to use a 30 weight oil. But actually, all you're trying to accomplish is when you're torquing it, the threads are smooth as it's torquing and not biting. See, like, these are going in smooth. The ones I, the one I just put in there is rough. Clean the threads on that one. Put some looby dooby on it. And it, it now, now it's smooth. It's amazing. Your head bolts should be smooth as they're being torqued. <clears throat> Had me a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Waited for the sun to get behind the trees. Uh. It's easy to know which way it went in. This mark here indicates it was in the valve guide.
loosen it up just a hair. I'm going to check the valve, valve lash. All right, I got to apologize. I'm not sure, but it's very possible that uh, my memory card got full and I had to empty it on that when I was putting the head on. All right, so we got to torque the head in two, two stages. 15 foot pounds. I got it set on 15 now. We're going to start with the, the uh, we'll start with the bottom. All right. They're all snugged pretty, pretty tight. Now let's go to the torque. About 15 foot pounds on the first batch. Go in a star pattern. All right, I'm going to take them all again at 15. So we want to get even torque. Now we're going to readjust it to just a hair over 30. Thirty point 30.1. I'm going to start with the top one. There it is, cylinder head is torqued. And definitely these are a little bit looser than they were before. I'll adjust them too. All right, so the valve lash is zero zero five zero zero seven that is really tight so here definitely loose so it's a 10 millimeter we already got this on uh, top dead center Perfect. Now we'll get this one. See, look how loose that joker is.
Perfect. Okay, we're gonna, all this is adjusted now. It's all torqued. We're gonna go ahead and spray some copper sealant on it. Especially down at the bottom. We clean the valve cover up, do the same thing to that. And a little bit on the gasket. And that kind of just makes it tacky. When we get it, it'll be tacky. And I'm going to show you my, my string secret. The string theory. All right, we're going to let that get tacky. I'm going to go get my string. All right. This string right here is the type of string like I used on the forms on the, it's a, a, it's a jet line type string. And we're just going to unravel a couple of threads out of it. And what we're going to do We're going to put the head, the valve cover gasket on on it. And as you see, they don't kind of line up because these cork gaskets are, are trash. So what we're going to do is we're going to thread the string. It would help if I could see. I'm blind as a bat. Thread the string on there like that. Can you see it? Yeah, I think so. You could have had that already on there, Pastor Bill. You know something? It may have got on there, but if one of those bolts didn't go through the hole, it's going to leak like a sieve. This is the correct way of doing it. In fact, old school builders, you'll see on old school builders that blueprint the motors, that they would use this very same method. That is the correct way of doing it. Now we can put it on.
Hi. Put the exhaust on. We are not going to be putting the string method on this. This is super, super high temp. But we are going to put some luby dooby on it, on the bolts. This is high temp luby dooby for brakes and stuff. Alright, there's this little grommet thingy spacer on the old carburetor I got to take off. Get the old carburetor out of the way. the new one on. I'm going to put the old spacer thingy. That gives takes the slack out of the governor. The throttle. That looks normal. This is the gasket that goes on the air cleaner side. I'm not spraying the surface of the carburetor because we don't want this stuff to get into the, the little orifices, the little holes. And you really don't have to probably spray this at all. But I am. All right. So we're going to go ahead and attach the fuel thingy to it. Plug it in. <sighs> Hook up the fuel line to it. the air cleanerish back on make 
sure this bolt hole lines up up here. Put the breather tube back in. Oh, and I'll put the spark plug on before we forget it. Because once you get the cover on, it's next to impossible. Coverage back on. Let's turn the fuel on. Get the junk out of the way. I'm not gonna throw that old carburetor away because it was working. And I don't see no fuel leaking out of it yet. Put it up into the choke position. Atomic batteries to power, clutch in. Key's gotta be on for that little uh, relay thingy on the bottom of the carburetor work. Come on, baby. Maybe it needs a little priming. Yeah, maybe we'll clean it up a little bit. We'll clean it up a little bit. All right, I got gas everywhere. Let's see. That's going to be it for this uh, fixing things with Pastor Bill. We'll put the head gasket on this. Oh, uh, uh, what is this thing? Cub Cadet. It's got a 19 horsepower motor. 
we uh, readjusted the valves, got it running. The new carburetor, I don't know, wasn't quite right. Probably, I probably got to uh, take it apart and look at it. It's brand new carburetor, can't be much wrong with it. Uh, put the old carburetor on, still wasn't acting quite right. But once it warmed up, it seemed to be working. Uh, I'm gonna go cut the grass. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Oh yeah, I got this thing. 